Thank you for booking one of our boats without a license. In the following video, you will learn the basic functions of this vessel, sailing, navigations, and safety procedures to get you acquainted with the boat. I am Captain Andrew, and I will prepare you for your next adventure. So, let's get started. We are situated in Calapinet, known as Reggae Beach. This point is where you pick up and drop off the boat. Before arrival, please prepare your booking email, as this will help us speed up the rental process. When you arrive, we will make the rental contract and explain emergency procedures, including contact details in case of any issue. The boats come equipped with GPS for emergency contingency, so don't worry, we are looking after you. Please note, you cannot anchor the boat and go to shore during the rental period. This will result in the loss of your rental. Onto the routes. There are two routes that highlight the best sites of the west coast of Ibiza. Left for the west route, and right for the north route. On the western route you have number one starting point Calapinet, number two is Port Destorent, here you can anchor and take it swim. Number three is Calabatha, one of the most famous beaches and here you can also anchor and take a dip. Blue Lagoon is a beautiful site for snorkeling and here you can definitely anchor and see some wildlife. Calacomte also a very beautiful place. Here you can definitely anchor and swim. And number five is Conejera Island. This is a protected reserve, meaning you cannot go to shore, but you can anchor and snorkel. Here the sights are unreal. From point one until point four can take up to 20 minutes with no stops. Second, on the northern route, you have Café del Mar, a famous sunset spot, but you cannot anchor here. Then you have number seven, Calagracio and Calagracioneta. You can definitely anchor here and take a dip. Punta Galera, you can also anchor and take a small swim. And Cala Salada is one of the most famous places on the island. Unfortunately, you cannot anchor here due to Poseidonia algae. Always sail 60 meters away from shore to prevent any damage to the boat. More importantly, saves you ruining your day. Only drop the anchor in sandy environments. Do not drop the anchor in a rocky environment or places where there is Poseidonia algae. This algae is protected and damage to it could lead to a hefty fine. When swimming, ensure the boat is anchored on sand and the engine switched off before anyone jumps in the water. When swimming, stay nearby the boat. Do not anchor the boat and go to the shore. Please remain close to the boat at all times. After swimming, ensure that your crew is back on board before switching on the engine. Do not switch on the engine until everyone's back on board. Once everyone's safely back on board, switch the engine back on and then remove the anchor. If you're unable to switch the engine on, do not remove the anchor and contact us straight away so we can help out. Onto the boat functions. This is the dry compartment of the boat and in here you can find your life jackets and store your dry belongings. To start the boat, first clip the safety clip onto this section. Then put the key in the ignition. The lever must be always in the neutral position before starting the engine. To ensure it's neutral, check that the lever is in the middle and the trigger isn't engaged. To go forward, squeeze the trigger and move the lever upwards. To slow down to a stop and reverse, squeeze the trigger and move the lever downwards. Like mentioned earlier in the video, make sure that you have anchored the boat safely before switching off the engine. When you arrive, our sailing experts will give you a tutorial covering the topics that we've viewed in this video. Until then, I'd like to wish you a very nice day. That about wraps up the video and we'll see you at Reggae Beach. Death. <laughs>